The Ministry of Education has sanctioned a Zhanghua University after it was accused of mistreating students from Uganda. 16 Ugandan students were allegedly forced to work at factories to pay off their tuition. One student representative said he was promised a scholarship, courses in English and paid internships. But he said none of those things materialized after he arrived at the school. The university has denied the allegations of mistreatment, saying that they stem from a misunderstanding. My patience and endurance were tested beyond measure. I was tortured both physically and psychologically, and not being able to get the quality education to fulfill my fundamental purpose of coming to Taiwan. Speaking at a press conference, Ugandan student Collins said he had been mistreated by his university in Taiwan, the Zhongzhou University of Science and Technology. He says he was promised English language courses, scholarships and paid internship opportunities. But after arriving in Taiwan, none of the promises were met, and he was forced to work in a factory. I have moved from from working over 10 hours a day, spending three nights without sleep, eating pai gu fan of 40 NT dollars as a meal for weeks, and attending classes that I would barely understand anything. Collins is 21 years old. In 2019, he came to Taiwan to study intelligent automation engineering at Zhongzhou University of Science and Technology. But after he arrived in Taiwan, he did not receive the courses in English or the scholarships promised to him. Instead, he was forced to work at a factory completely unrelated to his studies for more than 10 hours per day and even to take a second job to pay off his student debt. In his little spare time outside of work, he could only attend courses in Chinese, despite not speaking the language. Because we every time went there and asked them to improve our, the quality of education and even our well-being, but they never paid attention. That office's purpose is to demand money from international students. An automatic reduction was made to the students' tuition and fees. When we make arrangements for international students, we put them in courses in Chinese and English. They can choose to take on a side job, but they're free not to. So there are differences in understanding between the students and the administration. The school gave a conflicting account of the incident, but the education ministry has already imposed sanctions. The school has been listed as an institution requiring government intervention. It's also been barred from accepting international students. All relevant subsidies have been revoked. We ask the Ministry of Education to put an end to the chaos in the education system. About 81 percent of foreign students in Taiwan are not in programs designed specifically toward international students. That's about 50,000 students currently, but the number could go up in the future. So the ministry should investigate and scrutinize schools that let foreign students enroll in programs not geared to international students. The incident at Zhongzhou University of Science and Technology is not the first one in Taiwan. Similar situations were previously reported at the University of Kangning and at Jingguo Technology University. The lawmaker called on the Ministry of Education to take action to protect Taiwan's image as an education destination.